This is the Owl of Wisdom. Like and subscribe for 10 years of good luck. If you don't, it won't be pretty. People who used to not believe in ghosts but do now. What experience changed your mind? Worked at a public pool. I would work alone after hours cleaning the building in the pool. One night around 2 a.m. I'm cleaning the change rooms. The pool has been closed for 4 hours at this time. I hear the sound of a child's laughter and bare feet running across the pool deck. I go out and scan the area. There's nobody in sight. The doors are all closed and locked. There is nowhere a kid could be hiding. No wet footprints on the pool deck. I recheck the doors and the security monitors. I'm the only person in the building. It was unsettling. I've written about this before but once, while falling asleep after a movie with the family I was awoken by what seemed like a small boy running towards the couch we were in. I immediately sat up and braced for impact. Now, I would normally chalk it up to falling asleep by my mom and dad also bolted awake at the same time. Before I could explain my dad told me he saw a boy running towards us. His description of the boy matched mine, while my mother confirmed as well. My aunt used to live above a convenience store. It was a duplex and had a mudroom that connected the front doors to each apartment. The other apartment was empty and unlocked, so my cousins and I would hang out in there. One night we are playing hide and seek in the empty apartment. My cousin and I are running from the seeker and the hallway door slams shut in front of us. We freak out and end the game because we are too scared. We tell our parents and my aunt happens to have a night vision baby camera. She said sit up in the living room of the empty apartment and we can all see it on the TV in her house. We are watching it for about 10 minutes, dust is flying everywhere and nothing is happening. Out of the darkness, a Pepsi can rolls up and hits the base of the camera. Everybody is like WTF this bitch is haunted. I never went up the stairs alone to get to her house again, I was too freaked out. About 3 years ago, the entire building burned down unfortunately, I don't know the cause. I saw a reflection of myself at the end of a hallway in a friend's apartment building, only he told me the day after there was never any mirror in the hallways. In 2011 I was studying abroad in Morocco. We were staying in a riot in the Madinah of Marrakech with tall, ornate windows. I had one roommate who was already asleep this night. I thought I saw her sitting up in the bed next to me wearing all white. Suddenly I saw a white hazy thing vaguely shaped like a person floating above me next to the big windows. I was so scared I went in the bathroom, turned the light on, and stayed in the bathtub all night. My rumor didn't see anything. I was visiting my mother after my dad died. She went shopping with her sister and left me alone. I heard my dad as plain as day up in his room. He got up from his computer chair walked over to the door and opened it. He walked down the stairs and stood on the last step for a few seconds before walking back up to his room and closing the door. I was probably 5 feet from him in the living room. I just froze. It scared the hell out of me. I was 8 when my grandma died, I was sad. So around 2 months passed and I was going at grandma's house where my grandpa lives. So I wake up at 3am and hear footsteps from bedroom door, I froze, I saw my grandma walking up to me and she said hello little sweetie and walked away. It was not sleep paralysis because I could move my hands and feet. At morning I told to my grandpa about it, and he said I've seen grandma almost every night, she likes to visit, so don't be scared next time when you visit. Sorry for bad English, English is not my first language. I was staying in the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado, the hotel that inspired Stephen King to write The Shining. Around 1am I heard what sounded like children running up and down the hallways interspersed with laughter. Opened the door to see what the hell was going on, and didn't see anything. Quick little buggers, I thought. Then the next morning when my so and I took a tour of the building, the guide stopped directly in front of our room to tell us the story of young girls whose ghosts can be heard running up and down that same hallway. 
When I was in 5th grade I was playing with silly putty in my room when my mom called me down for dinner. I had molded it into a ball and placed it down directly behind me. I'm talking as soft as can be here. When I stood up to go downstairs, I felt something hit me in the back of my head with some force. So I turn around and see my silly putty ball, not on the ground anymore, but bouncing on my windowsill until it eventually rolled back onto the floor. Needless to say I ran downstairs hysterically trying to tell my mom what had happened. When my grandma passed away, in that moment, my husband and I were in several economic problems. So, the next days after her funeral, I started to dream about her, and she told me on my dreams that if I need money for an emergency, just check under her mattress, and I will find $1,500 Mexican pesos. I just ignored it, but those dreams were repeating again and again. So, I decided to take a look under her mattress and guess what? I found $1,500 Mexican pesos. And, since that event, I never dreamed again with her. I was having a conversation with my mom when I was a teenager. Mid-sentence I felt a hand grab my arm and look to see who it was. No one was there, and my mom didn't see anyone. Apparently the same thing happened to my sister a few weeks before. Also all the random voices and bags falling off shelves and moving shadows in the periphery. I believe it was just the house that was haunted, but they weren't malicious, so it was all good. One night, I was watching TV, and I watched my older brother walk down the stairs holding my little brother, 5 months old. He walked over to me, handed me the baby, and walked out of the room. My brother was on a 3 day field trip to DC. Let's just say, I didn't sleep for a while after that. I was sleeping in a hotel room and something woke me up, I looked next to the bed. There was a woman sitting cross-legged on the floor below me, and she locked eyes with me, cocked her head sideways, and then floated up toward me before dissipating. I prefer to think it was one of those hallucinations people can have in that pre-awake stage, but damn it was terrifying. When my son was a baby, he started crying in his crib at about 3am. I sat up, dreading having to nurse him back, to sleep for the third time that night. All of a sudden, I hear a soft, sweet, woman's voice over the baby monitor say, SHHH, don't cry, go to sleep. And my son settled right down back to sleep. In my sleep deprived state, I was like, cool, she's got him, and I went back to sleep myself. When I woke up that morning, I was like, did I just let a ghost nanny take care of my baby, can she come back tonight? She did not, but I did constantly see orbs fly around over his crib over the video monitor, which were clearly not bugs or dust. Speaking for my wife. I grew up in a house that was haunted, so I know what's out there, but my wife has always been a skeptic and gave me shit for believing in the paranormal and being spiritual until we moved into our house. She has seen and still sees a couple dressed in white in our backyard staring at our house. At night she will hear a giggle and doors close. She tried to rationalize what she seen until one day she saw a lady floating over our bed. That did it in and now she takes what I say seriously. Seeing a ghost. I lived in a haunted house. I would see the previous owner in shadowy corners or in the attic window when I was outside. There was a black cat that would show up in the house and disappear, but I couldn't find where it was getting in or out. Sometimes I would leave the spoon in my coffee and it would just start stirring itself. A fork left on the edge of a plate would fly through the air like someone smacked the end of it. Sometimes I would find the door to the little closet in the dining room open and close it and it would be open when I came back. Once I put a piece of furniture in front of it and I came back through the room and it was moved and the door was open again. I started saying, okay, I know you're here. If my coffee started stirring itself and the spoon would stop. Imagine you build a great house, and then you die, and you never want to leave, but maybe you don't know you are dead and everyone just ignores you. Once when I worked as a housekeeper in a nursing home. 
I worked very early in the morning and I always stopped by this one lady's room because she was always awake and sitting in her recliner. And she always had a pretty sweater on. One morning I went in to say hi and she looked so beautiful. She smiled and waved at me. It was like she was glowing. Her hair looked amazingly white and she had on a pink sweater. She radiated light. I went on with a few more rooms and met up with colleagues for a coffee break and one said to me we have to do a complete cleaning of room, I can't remember number, because a lady passed at midnight. You guessed it that lady that room. I never ever forgot how beautiful she looked at 4am. My dad died. After I found out I went home. My parents were separated, so my mom and dad each had a house. My mom is disabled and has a two-story house. It's very hard for her to go up and down the stairs. My old bedroom was upstairs. I got in the house about 2 in the morning with my husband. We were laying in the bed and my husband instantly fell asleep. I was too upset to sleep. My door was cracked and I saw a shadow pass by my door. I thought it was my mom checking to make sure I got home okay. After a few hours of not sleeping I went downstairs to get coffee and my mom was there. I said thanks for checking on me last night. She looked very confused and said I didn't go upstairs at all last night. I'm convinced it was my dad checking on me. I don't know if it was an actual ghost or if I was just freaking tired. I was alone at the flat and was pulling an all-nighter before a big event the following day. I decided to lie down on my bed to relax a bit and took the fetal position on my queen size bed. The lights were on, my laptop was on and the temperature was normal. Suddenly I hear a voice saying, my name is Alice. I've always wondered what it would be like to attempt a convo with a ghost and decided now was the freaking time to do it. So I reply, hi Alice. My body then proceeds to go into shock, like an electric bolt is raging around my body. I had no control over it. Every cell in my body was vibrating. I kept repeating a prayer until the shaking stopped and then stood up and continued the work I was doing. Not me but my dad. He was sitting in his chair in the library facing the dining room. Saw a girl come down the stairs, turn at the landing and go into the dining room. Thought it was me, went back to his paper, then saw it again called up the stairs, I hadn't moved, we were home alone at the time. We were doing major roof renovations and maybe it was a loosened house memory more so than ghost, but he was a lot less skeptical when we told him something was going on in the house. I was always open to the idea, but wasn't convinced. That changed a couple of days after my grandfather died. I was in my room at night thinking about him, when I suddenly felt, as if someone was rustling my hair. There are no vents in the ceiling in my room. My fan wasn't on. It was a very slow, deliberate feeling as if a hand was very slowly running its fingers through my hair. It's more religious, but a few years ago my little sister with Down syndrome ran away from her house, not knowing better, and we couldn't find her for an hour. I ran around for a while and came to a crossroads on the golf course in our neighborhood. I didn't know where to go, but I saw a bright flash to my right, it was just a field of grass, there was nothing reflective there, and so I went that way and that's where I found her. I swear it was an angel to this day. The weirdest thing that happened to me was a story my mom told me a few years ago which brought me from Adam and ghosts don't exist to holy crap maybe they do. A few weeks before I was born, my great grandma died. She was so excited to meet me and hold me since I was to be her only great granddaughter. I've always felt a strong connection to her. Well, when I was 5, my mom was driving me home and completely out of the blue I told my mom mom I really want to take a bath when I get home. Grandma Wilson told me last night that baths are a lot of fun talked to my mother's second cousin after my grandmother's burial. Year or two later find out he had died in 2013. Grandma's funeral was in 2015. The burial was in the same graveyard. My husband died, but he didn't leave me. 
I feel his presence a lot, and I know he's watching over me. My brother was looking through some old photographs with my mom and I. He pointed to one of my grandfather and said that's my friend Tom. He plays pretend with me. He'd never seen that grandfather before. He's never even heard his name. The creepiest part? That grandfather had been dead for nearly three decades, long before I was born. I started reading tarot cards when I was 14. I didn't have any beliefs in ghosts at the time. A friend of mine, thought, felt there was presence there, so I used my cards to identify what it was. The card's description perfectly matched her grandfather who died of cancer some years prior. I also met and befriended a ghost of a girl who committed suicide back in high school. Yeah, needless to say, I'm a firm believer in ghosts now. Two of my best friends and my closest cousin passed away, all at separate times. Although I loved these three people, I had never dreamt of any of them. That was until after they passed. One dream for each of them, that consisted of myself and them just talking and hanging out like normal. Those three dreams would be the only time I had ever dreamt of any of them. Each dream was extremely realistic to the point where I thought I was experiencing it first hand up until I woke. At first I thought it was just me missing them, but after the last dream, I was left with the feeling that these were their final goodbyes. When I was little I woke up to a ghostly pale old lady standing next to my bed which caused me to scream, and my dad ran into the room, saw her then yelled at the old lady, and then she vanished, we still have no idea what she wanted or who she was. Another story was when me and my friends witnessed a toaster fly off the counter and go 20 feet across the house. Thanks for watching the chronicles of reddit. Like and subscribe for a marvelous life of adventure.